guys working very closely with the demolition team they were able to come up with a, a scenario in which Heath could actually be walking out of the building because what Chris worked out is if we put in a little beat where the first set of explosions stops as if something's gone wrong and the Joker just takes a second to look around surprised like the audience is surprised then the major demolition comes in and he jumps straight into the school bus in that way, he was able to come up with uh, a practical scenario in which we could actually take a principal actor, walk him out of a building that's about to, to be destroyed, and literally drop the building to the ground. We rehearsed endlessly with Heath that morning. We walked him out, got him to do exactly what he was going to do with Chris Corbell calling the explosions where they would take place. We rehearsed it, I think, about 12 times. I think we literally walked him out, videotaped the rehearsal, looked at it from all different camera angles. And Heath was such a perfectionist and managed to be so precise in what he was doing, which was essential because this was obviously a, a one-take thing. And the angle I knew that, that we really needed, despite you know, all the other cameras we set, we really needed that close shot on him walking out to work perfectly. He did it very, very precisely. I don't know how he resisted looking back. You know, all the cork explosions and lightweight material that the special effects guy were blowing behind him. I think he wound up with bits of cork in his hair at the end of it. That's how close he was to everything that was going off. But he never looked back. He never betrayed any sense of, you know, worrying about what was behind him and all the rest. Once he jumps into the school bus, there's an angle that we, we actually didn't use in the, in the final cut. We mounted a camera in close up on him in the school bus once he's in and, and sat down and you see him never look back never look at the building that's collapsing you know immediately to his to his left it was a pretty marvelous angle but it didn't quite work for what we needed from the uh, the sequence we wanted to keep the sequence very simple in the edit to really show the uh, the fact that we'd done it for real and that Heath had done it for real so we wound up just using two shots the Lev headshot that, that precedes him and walks with him as he gets under the bus and then we cut to the high angle helicopter shot to show the, the enormity of, of the destruction. We had a lot of other great angles on the scene but it's one of these things where less was more and if we'd used all the different angles I think it would have started to feel a little fake and faked up and you'd start to feel the, the double cuts and so forth because what worked for me about what Heath had done was the the simplicity of it, the simplicity of the shot, just walking out with him and seeing a, seeing a building truly just, just collapse behind him. 